How did the Sea Wind Horns come about? Since we had moved over to Hawaii and we're playing these shows, we needed to have some kind of other, we wanted to have some kind of other musical outlet. And we formed a, kind of a small group over there and would play free concerts around in parks. And, and it kind of grew and we got a following and we said, well, let's, you know, let's try to do this for real. And, and so we formed a, a band and started playing over there and uh, played in clubs there. And then when people would come through from on their way from Los Angeles to, say, Japan or something, or just come to Hawaii for vacation, uh, word kind of got around that we were a band to go here and people would come and hear us. And eventually Harvey Mason, drummer, came and heard us and uh, got us hooked up with a record contract. And so we moved to Los Angeles in 1976 to uh, to make the record. When you were playing with that band, did that was that the start of your uh, your horn arranging? Did that start yeah, your it, unique style like that? It um, started when I, uh, you know, we we started playing our own material. Uh, before that, we were playing, you know, Tower of Power songs, and we played some Brecker Brothers songs, and. You know, we play Earth, Wind, and Fire. We do kind of more, started doing some top 40 type stuff. And uh, so I just said, well, you know, I'll, I'll write the horn parts out. So I did that and um, started doing that. And then when we moved here, uh, we were playing in the, in the baked potato. People would come down to hear us there and like the horns. And they would say, well, you guys want to come in and play on our record? And... I mean, but we never really even thought about doing that, and then all of a sudden we're kind of thrown into writing horn parts and performing on people's records. Um, and so that's kind of how I learned, just kind of on-the-spot arrangements while you wait sort of thing, <laughs> which is great training on the job. 